Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump calls Congress bluff. Donald drops his presidential hammer. Congress stared the president, so here comes the Donald with a big first. Trump declared a national emergency to get the funds he needed to start work on the border wall. First the House, and just now the Senate, defied him by passing a resolution to block his emergency. From AP News, the Senate voted 59 to 41 to cancel Trump's February proclamation of a border emergency, which he invoked to spend $3.6 billion more for border barriers than Congress had approved. The Senate is sending the bill to the president to cancel the national emergency, but Trump is not out of options. And now he's using one for the first time of his presidency. From Twitter. Veto. Our letters that strike fear into the heart of Congress. But Donald wasn't done yet. He laid it all out for them. I look forward to vetoing the just-passed Democrat-inspired resolution which would open borders while increasing crime, drugs, and trafficking in our country. I thank all of the strong Republicans who voted to support border security and our desperately needed wall. So Congress was willing to rebuke Trump by trying to revoke his national emergency at the border. They dared him to use his very first veto to stop them, and he's calling their bluff and following through with his threat. The good news for Trump? They don't have anything close to a veto-proof majority, so after his veto, this is probably where it ends. For anyone who doesn't know, there are dozens of national emergencies currently on the books. One million people are projected to cross our border this year. Even the mainstream media has reported this. Is that not an emergency? Republicans say they are worried a Democrat president would use this power in the future for liberal goals. But what's the real problem here? The Washington Swamp has made little progress to fix the border problem over the last 50 years. As much as I love Ronald Reagan, even he made major compromises and the problem only got worse. President Trump is finally doing something about it, and that won't work for Washington. But Donald the dealmaker is holding to his principles and protecting the border wall for the sake of the American people. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.